have to believe that education changes lives or else we wouldn't be in this business. And I think I, I hold that belief for K right through PhD. And that is the, the role of educational institutions is indeed to change lives, to present options to young people. And when you look at this campus today, you see an institution that indeed is doing that, right from the early primary school right through the ultimate education and doctoral degrees. And I'm extremely proud to have played a part in that. Cecil Lytle is uh, clearly one of the leading figures on this campus over decades in so many capacities, from music, from undergraduate education. The amount of leadership and inspiration uh, I could go on for days. Now Cecil is an incredible person across many dimensions. I mean, he, he has a profound concern for social justice. He's an accomplished national and international musician. I think music for me is, is the, the voice of my creativity. Um, I think we're all creative people and we do it in different ways. But I've, I don't remember ever not wanting to be a musician starting at age five. My father was a Baptist church organist and that's where I cut my teeth. And whether I'm playing Beethoven, Tchaikovsky or jazz today, I still think about Ebenezer Baptist Church in the back of my head. Why were those people there? Why were they singing? And what were, what were their ambitions and visions for themselves and their community? The trajectory for a kid growing up in Harlem was not very good in the 1950s. And people intervened in my life in very extraordinary, unusual ways. Bankers, real estate agents, parents, uncles, grandparents. And it just seemed it was incumbent upon me, and I think Bud felt the same way, it was incumbent upon us to be extraordinary even for a short period of time. I think the whole mission of Proy School really strikes at the heart of what a public land-grant university should be. These universities, some three, four hundred of them now, were founded to change the population. I'm sure he used every trick in the book for the moral argument that Proy's has to happen. If it wasn't for Cecil's mentorship and Price, I don't think I'd be here at UCSD. Um, I don't know where I'd be. I think I would definitely have struggled a lot more and I don't think I'd be in my master's program. The record is very clear about Price School. It is an extraordinary public school. It's a place where young people come to improve their intellectual and social skills. I'm currently a student teacher at Price. To have been a student, I definitely see the big impact it has, you know, on the flip side, even as a teacher. So I just, I don't think I would have been as motivated and as driven as I am today. I think our mission now is to spread the good news. He embodies everything that that medal um, represents. Um, not only does he give so much of his time, he's just like a wonderful person to speak to. Uh, he has this presence that I don't think any other faculty member does. Receiving the Ravel Medal is an extraordinary honor. I don't think Bud, Susan, or I ever envisioned that we would do this work so that someone would pat us on the back. 